The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to Love Light Sound Radio, aligning and consciously creating your life with host Susanna Jameson on Transformation Talk Radio. Follow Susanna as she channels dynamic frequency encodings of sound and light that initiate clearing, activation, balancing, and alignment with a new vibration of well-being. Allow your higher vibrational self to unfold on Love Light Sound Radio. Transformation happens here now. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Pat. I'm so thrilled to be sharing with you Love Light Sound Radio with Susanna Jameson, aligning, balancing, and consciously creating your life. Um, This is really an important show for a lot of reasons, Um, you know, and is part of a series that Susanna has been doing with us. And we are introducing number three of five, five ways to shift. So today we're going to be talking about a new, unique, cutting edge approach to healing, uh, healing trauma fast and lastingly. I want to just remind everybody It was last week that Mike Murphy was on the show. And one of the things he talked about is how we have to change through frequency. And he just touched upon that because that's not his area of expertise. But the book he wrote about this talks exactly to what Susanna does. And that is cutting right through all the stuff to zoom in on the frequency of change so that we can heal past life events. You know, one of the things I'm really struck by too is, you know, why this approach that she takes is so powerful. There are two reasons in my opinion. One is um, there is a way that she zooms in and is able to cut through layers and layers and layers and layers to get at what the real thing is. That is one of the most important things right now that I think the messaging is. It's messaging in media. um, It's messaging in the way we live our lives. And it is the key to even communicating in our business affairs. But today she's going to talk about this new and unique and cutting edge approach so that we not only take care of what's in front of us now, but we've got to make this lasting. And for those of you that know who Susanna is, you absolutely know that she is somebody that is internationally known. She's known for Love Light Sound Radio, of course, but she is also known for her techniques, her approach, whether she is treating someone holistically or homeopathically or intuitively. She has been someone for over 20 years certified as a life health coach that has been able to help people cut right to it and get right to it. Susanna, great to have you here. I'm excited about today's show. What a warm welcome. Thank you so much, Pat. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's an exciting subject. So thanks for the introduction. I think one of the things we're discovering across the board is that people have tried things that maybe last for a minute or maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. maybe even a day. Mm -hmm. They go to sleep, they wake up the next day, and boom, there it is all over again. And I want to talk for a little bit about why that is and about how you discovered that the traditional approaches that people may know are just not working anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for pointing this out. And, you know, one of the biggest ones, obviously, that is out there is, for example, therapy. And in and meds, and that, I mean, that's a whole other story um, up for discussion. But the, the thing is, is really, um, I really need everyone to hear me. I'm not saying therapy is wrong. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. The thing is, how long do you want to do it? You know, I want to keep doing it. I mean, I have people come to me who have been on in therapy for decades, yeah. right? And Is it helpful? Yeah. I mean, if you don't have anyone out there who's on your side and you have someone listening to you one, two, three times a week, uh, dependent on how frequently you're going, that can be tremendously helpful. You know, just 
having a presence there. Is it shifting you? Not in my experience to resolution, you know, and it's very interesting. I had yesterday a comment um, on my um, on my Facebook page of someone rather upset and yeah, you know, kind of around the note, dare I say, you know, that could be fast or something, you know, trauma is with us forever and, you know, we, we can't really do anything about it and it takes years and it, it takes medication and whatnot. And I'm, you know, for me, it's, um, I can hear that and I can appreciate that opinion and my experience is different. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, my work um, Pat, as you know, is about empowerment. Yeah. You know, so for me, I can only work with you if you're ready to take responsibility for your own healing process. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're in a place where you're still um, mostly about others are doing things to you, it's like blame, shame out there. It's like it's their fault and not looking to, okay, that happened to me and how can I you know, take what happened to me and shift it for myself. Because obviously, if I keep doing the same things, nothing is going to change, right? So right. just coming from a very different approach. So it's about empowerment. And then, you know, throughout my over 20 years practice and also my own path, obviously, you know, and we've talked about that on the other shows, you know, we've touched on that, what that entails. And it also you can read about um, that on my website um, about me and also in my book, The Healing um, the Healing power in finding your innocence. And it's, it, you know, it is about integration of healing, not yeah. keep revisiting the same things over and over again. It's like, you know, with therapy, you keep going back to the same thing and you look at the same situations, but they're not resolved. And your system is not holistically moved through that experience. So you're still stuck in the same thing. To the contrary, and I actually had therapist friends um, concur with that or actually point that out to me that in their experience, it can be re-traumatizing. You know, yeah. it's like if you keep revisiting the same thing without resolution, it's like you're stirring up the same things over and over again. So, you know, it's, it keeps aggravating you and actually reinforcing the traumatic experience versus resolving it. You know, so that is one aspect. And also... And, you know, I'm I'm happy to be surprised here if there's any new therapy form out there. But as far as I know, um, you know, it's not really about empowerment. You know, yeah. I, I actually had, like, had several. I have been having therapists reaching out to me to work with me. So I'm, like, just saying, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with that because, obviously, I've been also on my own path and, you know, just like a therapist, because someone is a therapist usually means they're kind of working with their own wounding, right? That's usually the why they're interested in the work they're doing. And so then just for, for someone to realize, okay, that's how far I, I've been able to come and it, you know, just not happening. Yeah. Well, part of this too is, you know, we've come a long way since mm -hmm. uh, the inception of therapy, let's just right. say. We've come a long way. Right. Uh, but even back, I want to go back just to refresh everybody's memory if we don't uh, know about this, that we somehow lump all forms of healing into a bucket. What we now know, though, and Carolyn Mace and her landmark work said it very simply, it's a tissue issue. And we've got to get into the tissues. We've got to have a new vibration, you know, that allows us to move the energy, to move the, it, it, she really did in the anatomy of spirit, talked about you've got to heal at deep, deep levels. Um, and I have to say, I've had Carolyn on the show a bunch of times. She was never quite as diplomatic as you were just were now in talking about that. Um, but what I loved about her is that she says someday we will all wake up to the fact that we have to be accountable and responsible for our own healing. Mm. Yeah. And I think what you're saying is yes, but I've got some tools to help you. <laughs> right. That's, yeah. Right. That, that, that's that the is difference. True. Right. That's the difference. Even if you go back a century, mm -hmm. that's the difference between now and Carl Jung saying it, 
uh, 80 years ago or something, right? Mm -hmm. The difference now is we now know what those tools are. And that's what you're bringing to us. You're bringing a giant toolkit of how this could work. Yeah, and the beauty of that, um, Pat, the, it's a toolkit and it's super simple. That's what I love about it. You know, it's not difficult to um, to apply and practice. And I loved what you were pointing out earlier also in the, in the shift of energy. So, you know, it's not only about accumulating information, like accumul accumulating knowledge, let's say, you no. know, like... You know, right theories and and um, philosophies and all of that. There's loads of that out there, and you can knock yourself out on Google with information about all <laughs> kinds of things. Right? I mean, but the, but the fact is, like, it's you know, it's it stays here. Then it's like, yeah. oh, now I know. Check. Now I know. Check. But it's not integrated, right? And it's also not um, helping you to shift your inner world and not your subconscious beliefs, you know, the subconscious self-sabotaging patterns that are running you and um, how they've affected your energetic system, how they've affected your body, where are they stored in your body, how to release that, you know, how to shift energetically to actually up-level your system into a healing process versus keeping it stuck in an in a energetic system that is in disease-inducing or maintaining, let's say. Oh, even yeah. more mm -hmm. And one of the things that we're talking about here today is uh, a key element of empowerment, which I do want to talk with you about for a moment, and then we'll talk more about it when we come back from break. Um, we have to decide and be awake and aware enough to really lean in to what is actually working for us. You know, it's interesting. I wear I wear something that, um, and I had to figure this out for my own. You know, if somebody says to me, "Wear this thing, and you will energetically feel better," mm -hmm. um, I'm going to wear it, and I'm going to see if that's true. If it's true, I will keep wearing it. If it's not true, I won't. <laughs> and it's the same with healing. If you have tried a bunch of things and you are still working with the same thing, it's time for a shift. We're going to take mm -hmm. a short break. When we come back, we're going to tell you about what some of those things might be that you're trying. Maybe they're working, but chances are they're giving yeah. you short-term relief, kind of like eating ice cream. Let's take a <laughs> short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Tune in to E3 Influence Radio. Own your impact. Master your world. In this new hit show, Sarah Luce, empowerment coach and spiritual mentor, teaches us how to achieve our greatest potential to positively affect everything and everyone. The time is now to enlighten our minds, empower our hearts, and take energized action to raise the consciousness of our planet. Sarah shows us how with simple, easy-to-implement steps. To find out more about Sarah Luce and her E3 Influence program, visit sarahluce.com. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. spirituality into your everyday lives on Universe Soul Heart Radio. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Kathleen Johnson explores the concept of sensible spirituality, keeping you grounded, connected, and centered on the path to wholeness. 
Kathleen has dedicated her life to facilitating holistic healing and wholeness in others. Listen to Universe Soul Heart Radio and learn how to flourish, grow, and impact all we do on planet Earth. For more information, go to universesoulheart.net. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Um, you know, Susanna and I were just talking during the break, and we're going to talk more about it and share more about it when we come back. You know, there are things that happen to us throughout our lives. Sometimes we are able to catch them in the moment. Sometimes the delay of, of that event or that trauma, there is a delay, and the realization doesn't hit you till later. Um, and there are so many studies that talk about this. You know, the most uh, common example is being involved in a car accident. Mm -hmm. And while the car accident is traumatizing in the moment, stories after stories after stories about how people do not feel the full effect till days, weeks, months, and sometimes years later. And today we're talking about you know, what are some of the things that we can know that we can do so that we can create an approach, a healing that isn't going to be for a minute or an hour or a day, but will be lasting. And before we talk about, you know, why some of these approaches work short term, like ice cream, you've <laughs> created something very special for people, you know, based on the previous shows we've done to help people to say, listen, let's come together collectively and let's heal. Tell us about what you've created. Well, you know, for one, there's the way you, you, I work with people within the, um, within my program. And um, on the other hand, what's been coming for me is that I'm supposed to be working with groups and groups of people. And so if you're listening to this show and you are in a group or leading a group that has anything to do with healing childhood trauma or any form of trauma, for some, um, as they're listening in, they might actually even be, become the first time aware that that is an issue for them, that there has been something in their past that has affected them deeply. Um, so if that is, or anyone, you know, who is dealing with unhealthy relationships, anything where you feel you're not living your truth, like you're not in alignment with living your life authentically, not feeling empowered in your life, you know, any of that. So that can totally tie into business situations, you know, where you're lacking confidence in business scenarios, or you, you know, you're not making um, the progress you'd like to see, um, communication, you're holding back, you're playing small, you know, things like that. So it's a wide range of things that this kind of work can cover. So the invitation is for you to see what of that resonates. And um, the best way to get more of a sense of it, I do have a free workshop on my website. I think um, you know, we talked about that. And you're welcome to register there and make sure you mention radio show in the form, in the booking form, application form, so that I, I know that you're coming through this show, right? And yeah, would love to see you on there. And if it resonates with you, then there's 
a means to talk to me personally. So we'll take it from there. All right. I love that we're doing that. We're going to talk more about it. Give out the name of your website, please, so folks have it. Sure. It's www.susannajameson.com. Pretty simple. Just my names.com. Straightforward. S-U-Z-A-N-N-A-J-A-M-I-E-S-O-N.com. Right. Okay. So today we are talking about um, a number of different things. One of the things in particular is looking at some things we've used. Let's talk about this now. You know, we use positive affirmation. We use mindfulness practices. We use meditation. We use breathing techniques. Uh, some of us have special chairs. I don't know if people can see it in the background behind me, uh, like over that way. I have a chair. And the chair actually works. Now, why does it work? You get in the chair and vibration, sound, it's all about sound. It's all about vibration. Uh, I didn't develop it. It was developed by a neuroscience, I, a scientist. I happen to have a beta of it. But honestly, we don't have to go that route. You know, you have created other ways for us to look at healing and we can't carry this big chair around with us all the time. So what have you discovered about these practices that are so common? Uh, what works about them and what doesn't? Yeah, thanks for pointing this out. And again, you know, things have been developed or come out of people's experience, respectively. And obviously everyone um, finds what resonates with them in the moment you know, so it's, again, it's a vibrational match depending on where people are. And so, yes, positive affirmations, mindfulness practices, meditation, breathing techniques, they all have their value. And especially if we're looking at, let's say, in in the moment, like short term or in the moment, supporting you, let's say, with an anxiety attack, you know, like you have an anxiety attack and you have a certain breathing technique or a tool that helps you get your breath back, let's say, right? Or, um, you know, just prevent you from acting out or whatever that may be. The thing is, though, it's only until the next incident. Right. Right? It's like, basically, you're having this tool because you're anticipating it's going to happen again. So the way I work is actually not having these attacks again anymore. Yeah. That's, that's the, for me, resolution, meaning... Uh, no more triggers, no more um, upset, no more response to situations. Uh, addressing the root cause and curing or healing whatever has been the, the origin, you know, so that your system doesn't need this kind of symptom as a trigger response anymore, right? So that's where I'm coming from with this. So again, are these, you know, tools and practices helpful? In certain inc incidents, yes, it can be very helpful and very beneficial. Right. And it is a difference to lasting transformation. Yeah. You know. mm -hmm. And I think what we're talking about is having lasting transformation. In the example that I gave you before, uh, we were talking about when I lost my job, and I probably didn't share this on air, but in a two and a half year period, job went away after 24 and a half years. My sister passed away unexpectedly on a hospital floor. Then my stepmother had a massive heart attack, even in a short period of time. But I was so immersed in going back to school and I was so on that hamster wheel, right, to do that, that it wasn't until later on because I subconsciously or consciously decided to go on to school, but wow. I I chose something to study that was so traumatizing in itself to study that it complicated and hit all of the triggers you're talking about. Okay. So here I am, I get fired from a job and I go on to study for eight years and research the consequences of psychological contract violations, better known as oh broken gosh. promises, eight years and postdoctoral research. <laughs> right. Now, looking back at that, it's amazing I'm even still here to talk and be alive, right? Um, I hear you. Because this is what happens sometimes when we don't know it. 
Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, things of our past show up. And you, what I hear you talking about, Susanna, is, you know, you've created a way to make sure we're healing at that very point of entry level. Mm-hmm. Right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. And, and I love that you're sharing your own story here, Pat, because in my experience, it's very common that in, we have a tendency because life happens, you know, that we go on autopilot because obviously it's not very pleasant to look at things that hurt, right, at old pain or, th- or things. And I, I'm not saying that we have to do this repeatedly, but we go the other way instead of moving through it we're trying to avoid it and so so then we get busy with life you know we're getting on autopilot and going through all the motions all the while being completely disconnected with what is happening here you know basically operating out of being foreign defined what I call it's like it's always about are they going to like me are they going to approve of me are they going to reject me am I going to lose my job and I going to keep it Am I showing up the right way? Um, Is this acceptable? Am I being a burden? How can I do more so that they like me? You know, things like that. So, um, so, and, and then life at one point in my experience usually jumps in and gives kind of a reality check. Yeah. Flatliner. Yeah, flat, that's exactly right. Exactly. You know, so it's like, that's like, if you don't, if you don't have a natural, or it, if life doesn't nudge you in a natural in, inclination to inquire about, you know, personal growth and all of this, but you keep being on autopilot and numbing yourself out with all kinds of compensatory me- mechanisms, and that can also be just overwork or overstudy, works very well if you tune yeah. out to that, right? You, yeah. You're all about that. And um, But the thing is, like, life sooner or later is going to jump in and say, you know, you've done plenty of that. Now it's time for, you know, to look at who you are. And then basically that's when some kind of breakdown occurs and, you know, the person or the life force is forced to actually look at what is not working. And I have, you know, just in my recent, um, with my more recent clients also, like, several incidents, you know, trauma is so broadly ranged like you know one woman what she came to with me was basically being traumatized by an impending custody lawsuit yeah it's like completely in anxiety mode about that and after a few weeks um, and also not having the confidence to speak her truth in that experience you know not showing up for herself what her values were that shifted within weeks I mean, completely new person, she's the first one to tell you. But not only that, you know, as we were freeing up her life life force energy out of that fear and into empowerment, she actually came up with purpose. And that wasn't even on the agenda. And that's what I'm seeing over and over again. As you're freeing up your life force energy, it becomes very clear all of a sudden what you're supposed to be doing with your life. And that, you know, you didn't even have a notion of that before. Yeah. Right. And so and then also you have the energy and, and the insights and are open to receiving the direction you need to be taking. So it's it's just beautiful to watch. Yeah. Well, I think there's a point that you're talking about, which we're going to talk about when we come back. And it's the idea of coming home to yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to go through an entire decade of research, studying, uh, writing papers, uh, presenting papers, you, you know, this, this research was groundbreaking in that no one ever studied psychological contract violation between people. They always studied it between an employee and a company. Mm-hmm. And so for the first time, I took my own life experiences and I was able to put it into this body of research. Mm-hmm. But what happens, what happens when your world gets quiet when there's no more ice cream to eat, <laughs> when you're looking for more than short-term solutions, what happens when you long for something else? You get it, and then your life's purpose shows up. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, Suzanne is going to tell us about coming home. Before we do that, how can people work with you directly? How can they work with you one-on-one as well? 
Um, well, the one-on-one -on -one work is within the program and the, really the best way to find out if, you know, what I'm offering resonates with you is to either watch the free workshop that I have on my website or, you know, contact me directly. I have an appointments section also. If you're Good. really ready to go, you know, you, you, you know, you got to make changes. You're very clear on that. Get on my calendar and I have a free complimentary breakthrough session mm -hmm. where we can assess if, you know, where you're at in your life, what's working, what's not working. And if I can help you, you know, what your goals are, and then uh, we'll take it from there. And if I'm not a fit, I'll let you know too. And so it's a total win-win. Well, I got to tell you, I actually did that back in 2001 or two. I actually saw a quote, you know, an opportunity to talk with somebody about it. My life changed, mm -hmm. changed. And that's what we're saying to people. Let's take a short break. What happens? when you do have an opportunity to come home. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Let It Go Radio, the future awaits you. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Barbara Scheidegger explores the way to clarity, peace, and how to live a successful life on your terms by turning negative experiences into positive ones. Barbara's curiosity about the human experience drives her both personally and professionally. As a life coach, author, and renowned clinical hypnotherapist, Barbara knows how to move forward in a natural, organic way without side effects. If you want to grow, be sure to tune in to Let It Go Radio. To learn more, visit LetItGoHypnosis.com practice living in wholeness with the body tune-up six classes for 89 dollars designed for radical self-healing and self-regeneration heal the deepest root of any challenge the mental body was programmed in negativity not good enough separate from source you're too much you'll never make it the emotional body holds all the pain and trauma of emotional suppression all the pain from this life and life's past the spiritual body is the place you connect with your higher power, your higher self, with the image and likeness of the one. The physical body houses and expresses the other three bodies every day. Go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Evolve, become a practitioner. We need to heal, integrate, and bring into wholeness and harmony the physical body, addressing all the other bodies in order to live in our true, authentic nature. Winning at the game of money. Lynn Brown is now offering Full Spectrum Finance, a progressive 12-month program that will help you to navigate through the mechanics of financial expansion. Finally, a financial planner who looks at the full spectrum of money and abundance. Engage you in the mental, physical, and energetic aspects of finance. This is Full Spectrum Finance. Are you ready to get into it? For more information, go to fullspectrumfinance.com. Stay juicy. Tune in to Your Juicy Love with me, Una Drake, co-hosting monthly with Dr. Pat and every second Monday at 12 p.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. My show, Your Juicy Love, helps you find the dynamic, life-affirming love you've always wanted. Transform your relationships and bring peace, joy, and juicy, juicy love to planet Earth. For more information, visit unadrake.com. Are you stuck in unhealthy habits, toxic relationships, or low self-esteem? Do you crave a life of inspiration, love, self-acceptance, and fun? Sounds like you're on the verge, on the verge to your next big thing. Join Laura Richer, host of On The Verge Radio, helping you use your breakdown for a breakthrough, overcome life's greatest challenges, and live the life you want and deserve. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio or visit seattlehealinghypnosis.com for more information. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. Uh, as I said before, uh, Susanna Jameson is joining me here today. This is a fabulous show that she does. I get to chime in and help out and be part of this. So it's quite an honor. Um, you know, she and I have been talking about how 
how we might present to all of you a way so you can create the kind of change you want in your life and have it be lasting. And before we talk about coming home and what that feels like, um, Susanna, again, tell us about this, you know, uh, workshop that you've created for people. And by the way, you know, it's a free workshop. You've been called to put this together and create it. So tell us about it and how people can sign up. Yeah, thanks for mentioning it, Pat, uh, again. So the best way to learn about my work, and if it resonates with you, really, that's what it is about, right, um, is to watch the workshop on my website. And it's on my homepage, SusannaJameson.com, and it's free. You can just register and pick a spot that works for you. And um, if you are interested in my work, I didn't mention that before, Pat, but I do have a special for people who are coming through this radio so show. So the first 10 who really do want to work with me, I have a special incentive for these people. So just saying, you know, just mention radio show on the forum so that I know where you're coming from so that I can honor that. And also what's been coming through here is that I do want to get the word out about my work in a in a bigger on a bigger scale meaning if you know what you're hearing here is resonating with you and you're part of a group or a leader of a group and you have anything to do with self confidence healing trauma in any way shape or form unhealthy relationships self esteem self worth issues um and living authentically or finding your purpose, all of these uh, aspects that are organically um, healed and unfolding throughout the work I'm doing. So reach out through contacting me and we'll see how we can best support you. Okay. And, and by the way, we're taking your questions today. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you out there, if you want to call in and you have a question or you want to get some help with, you know, clearing something, 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819. Um, you know, Susanna, before the break, I was talking about coming home. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to get a sense uh, from the work you do, what that means. Now, I know for me that what it meant to me after going through that traumatic experience for a decade or more, um, there was, uh, let's just call it a aha healing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what happened after that was being able to start to see clearly mm -hmm. where I wanted to go. And I dial the wrong phone number in 2003 and I end up here. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it wasn't the wrong one then. <laughs> it wasn't the wrong one. But yeah. there's this space that you go from and to that we're going to talk about now, mm -hmm. which allows us to be awake enough to not hang up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. tell us about that coming home space. Yeah, and what's coming here, first of all, is, is one of my lovely uh, clients I have right now, and she's very thrilled to um, be okay with my sharing her situation publicly. And, uh, you know, it, what it came to me because you mentioned uh, losing a, the job, right? And she basically came from a situation where he had, she had just lost her job. And so the, the whole thing of fear of rejection and whatever came up there, at the same time, she's also uh, accompanying um, a loved one in a, a severe health situation, basically her mother, um, and um, very devastated by that whole experience and noticing how much um, that relationship had actually impacted her life throughout, not only positively for her own self-worth. And, you know, as, as we've been working together, I mean, it's just amazing and so heart opening to see her shift. I mean, as a side note, she lost over 20 pounds within a few weeks without even trying, you know, that was, we made some adjustments. There were no major changes, but just the resolution of her inner situation, resolving trauma, she's tremendously improved her, her relationship. Like basically, you know, she has a new marriage pretty much. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, you know, as a side note, and, and this is what I'm, you know, that's what I mean. It's this kind of organically unfolding. The more you actually get in touch or are connected to yourself, to your truth. And that's really what coming home to yourself is about, right? That's why I named this program uh, such it's coming home to yourself, meaning to your true essence. And when I mean true essence, I'm talking about love essence. Now, that is not the you know, the romantic kind of love we're talking about, but it's source essence. It's the love that holds everything, right? So meaning yeah. unconditional love for yourself and for everyone around you, but first for yourself. And so that's how this program is designed. It's designed to get you step-by-step step in touch with who you truly are, first of all, connected, you know, from the original disconnect that you've kind of taken away from childhood or whatever other traumatic experiences you've had in your life, you know, back to connected and in touch with, with what's going on for you now. Right. And then building out of that, moving through anything that's not serving you, resolving self-sabotaging habits and uh, thoughts, patterns, and shifting you into not only being connected with yourself, but also opening up to others and creating new meaningful relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And what I love about this is, you know, the story you shared, how beautiful is that? Mm -hmm. um, but we forget sometimes that uh, coming home to yourself is our, that's our birthright, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It is our birthright to be in that space. Right. And somewhere along the way, we decided that we had to go through pain and agony in life in order for it to be meaningful. And it was never really meant to be that. No, no, it, that's yeah. true. That's true. And I mean, we can see from all the modalities that are out there that people are definitely, you know, have the desire to, you know, to heal themselves. I mean, there's no question. There's loads of it out there. And obviously different things work for different people at different times, you know, depending on where you're at. As I said, like this work might not be for everyone or it is not for everyone. You know, if you're not in a place where you know that um, you do want to feel empowered, you know, and you do want to take responsibility for your own healing, then this is not for you because it does require your active participation. You know, yes, I'm going to work my magic also, but, you know, in addition to that, for you to shift it lastingly and integrate it, you'll have to do practices, you know, and apply them. So, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, this really leads to the next question, and I think we'll go ahead and skip the break here. Um, you know, there's a reason why uh, this is successful, number one. We're going to talk about that. But there's also a reason that you've created the, you know, special ways for people to heal that the workshop, you know, you've created these opportunities so that people can experience what it's like to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. But there are reasons. There are reasons why this is successful. And let's talk about them because sometimes we have to have some kind of rationalization to understand why some things work and why some things don't. Okay. Yeah. And I love that. And so, Mm. the reason why this is different from other ways of looking at trauma and sometimes it's just that looking at trauma actually instead of healing it or moving through it is you know this approach basically addresses your all of your being you know it's holistic in that that we're addressing mental emotional spiritual and physical you know, and, and you mentioned on one of the other calls also like, you know, paranatural occurrences or even past life situations that, yes, can affect our energetic imprint um, in this lifetime. And yet it's in the now that healing occurs, right? It's here now that we can shift things and becoming aware of them, creating awareness around situations and having the tools and practices to move through them resolve them and or reframe them, reframe them. And not only mentally, right, looking at our thoughts and our belief system, but also physically, like, for example, I, one of my modalities is an embodiment practice that is designed to release trauma on the cellular memory level, 
you know, there's not much of that out there, mm-hmm. right? And so, and certainly not integrative in comprehensive or complex trauma therapy. And, you know, part of that, and I'm also using my own energy healing work, which the good news with that one is you don't have to do anything, right? It's doing the job for you. So, you know, and that's also why I'm seeing transformation that fast. You know, it's just because energetically your life as energy is already aligned and balanced throughout these healing modalities. And um, I do need my clients to be open to that. Right. Because some of the modalities I offer aren't out there. It's unique in that. And um, anyway, so, you know, my, my clients speak for themselves, let's say, or my, my clients. Well, I, it's, like anything, the- it's like mm-hmm. anything, though. It's like anything, Susanna. I mean, mm-hmm. think about it. You know, there is an acceleration process that happens when we are open to something. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 Energetically, we have cleared a pathway. So we become like this absorption like sponges, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, And, you know, there's an old saying, you got to want it. And, you know, that is an understatement for a lot of us that are self, you know, that are entrepreneurs that are doing certain things. There's a level of that. Mm -hmm. But even if you want it, you still might know how, not know how. Right. You're helping with that. And I love the subtlety you're pointing out there because often it's about like, you know, doing, 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 doing. And then we're so in this doing mode already that we're not allowing space to receive, you know, and and my work is about allowing, you know, getting us back in touch with actually allowing life to happen to us, to not see it as an enemy, but, you know, something that is for us, no matter how it shows up. And, you know, basically equip you with the right tools and with the right foundation, which is you, you know, because I do want my clients to be free. I don't want you dependent on me. I want, you know, I want you to be flying, right? I love working with my clients and I want them to Uh be very clear on that. So, um, you know, but, but basically give you the foundation so that you have that for life, how to always come back to yourself you know, how to yeah. always get back in touch, you know? Yeah. And once we get back to that place and once we get back in touch, mm-hmm. that's when we are able to start to look at the next. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. next for me? Right. Because right. we're not bogged down by the, the incidences and occurrence of things of our past mm-hmm. that we don't want. I mean, I don't know many people that raise their hand when folks say to them, would you like more pain? (laughs) I I mean, I don't, I don't think that we do that consciously. And so somebody says, Hey, would you like more pain? We're giving it away for free. I don't think we're like all raising our hands about that. Right. No. And and in a way we, we, yet we're doing it. Yes. We're doing it. As we're keeping ourselves in that limited perspective of life and basically coming from fear. You know, it's always about kind of trying to be on in control about uh, around our environment, trying to pre-plan, pre be prepared for what's next, you know, and having all these schedules and agendas and making sure that, and you know, it's everything around control. And there's nothing wrong with ha- having some structure and organization in your life. You just, you know, what is what is it motivated out of? You know, is it coming from love? You can also be structural and organized coming from love versus, you know, being run mm-hmm. by anxiety. Right. Well, what's the end game in this? Because one of the things I want to make sure we talk about is that, you know, coming home and being able to be there, you know, it does things. It sets us free. So let's mm-hmm. talk about this new freedom. Right. Um, and and in setting us free, it's not just free from our past, mm-hmm. although that might be it, mm-hmm. but it might be free from our, our present. It might be free from the people that are currently in our lives or the people that remind us of people in our past. And so we say, you know, we're tethered to them. We're, we're attached to them. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't know this, but we worry about, do I say it? Do I not say it? Mm -hmm. Um, And so how does coming home um, open up the portal for freedom for us, freedom from all of that? Yeah. I love the question. And it is freedom in that, you know, as, as you learn more and more to love yourself unconditionally, unconditionally, meaning fearlessly and unapologetically, you know, the more you can show up as that 
outside, meaning you're not tiptoeing around others anymore, but you can actually speak your truth fearlessly and unapologetically around others. Now, they might not like that, or it might take them a while to adjust to your change, right? We, yeah. You, know, you might, you know what I'm talking about, Pat. I do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the end game is here that, you know, eventually you come to see that it's never about you. It's not personal. Like the person is in their own suffering. So it's not about you. And it's not like they're not attacking you personally, but out of their own suffering. And as you do have that distance to you know, as you can observe that as not being about you, you can find the compassion and the understanding for the other person. And that sets you free. Now, the more you set yourself free and are living out of an empowered, authentic self, the more you free the energy that is stuck in your system means you're also healing your body, like physical symptoms disappear, like chronic disease, you know, migraines, menstrual um, cycle imbalances, you know, lacking libido, whatever it is. I mean, it, it's a whole ra range right. of symptoms. My, you know, migrants, I think I mentioned, like whatever, however that shows up. Um, you know, chronic inflammation, things like that. And so, again, that obviously frees you up to move through life very differently if you don't experience any physical pain. You know, it's mm -hmm. not incapacitating you anymore. So it's freeing up energy in, in, in that department. And then it's freeing up how you move through life as you're embracing your own truth more and honoring it and also trusting your inner voice, right? As you're more in touch with yourself, the more and more you can actually trust what your inner voice is telling you. And so then you actually have the guidance, right? Yeah. And what is coming up, then it's like, oh, I actually always, this always made me tick or this is actually my heart's desire. And then it's like, it's a no brainer. Of course, that's what I, I'm supposed to be doing. Exactly. Right? And, and so it, it's, and that's what I love about this, Pat. You know, it's not, we're kind of not there. Okay, I'm going to make this list and I'm going to kind of <laughs> map it out and I'm going to kind of try to find it. You know, I'm going to figure this out now, kind of. It, it's it's an organic a rising, it's, it's an organic unfolding of what is next. It's nothing that you have to be doing or are supposed yeah. to be doing. There's no pressure or no dogma. And that's really what I love about it. So there's freedom yeah. in the process already, you know? Yeah. And one of the things that we're talking about here too is you've created the free workshop so people can see how this works. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you've really given folks an opportunity to say, yeah, we're talking about this today, but now uh, they could go to your website, susannajameson.com, and they can take a look and sign up for the free workshop so they could see the effective nature of this, experience it for themselves. Right. And, you know, that's what uh, most of this, you know, we're talking about here today is. It's once you have the awareness that there's something in your life that is holding you back, Usually we don't know what to do next mm -hmm. and we try so many things mm -hmm. and we get some very short term relief mm -hmm. and then it comes back. And what you're talking about is providing an experience that people will have so they can actually heal. Yeah. 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 And, you know, the workshop is one. And again, if you if you do want to know if, you know, it would be a good fit for you that we work together. You can also go directly to my schedule and, you know, yeah. book a free complimentary session. It's just to find out where yeah. you're at again, you know, what's working, what's not working and what results you're looking for. And if I can help you get there, I'll right. absolutely tell you and show you how. And if not, I'm pretty sure I know something or someone who can help you with yeah, whatever you're looking exactly. for. So, yeah. yeah. And so what we're really talking about here today is everyone out there, just like I had to do and many others, we're really being called to take action on our own behalf. You know, what we're doing on this show, what you're doing is you're saying, listen, I've got some tools. There are some things that I've learned, some things that I've created that are going to make a difference in your life. And you've really opened up the door for people to step through. So thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, um, one last question. What's your personal message? What would you like to leave us with today? Um, I had I came across one quote I feel I want to share um, here. 
you have never not for one moment been off your path and you have no reason whatsoever to feel any embarrassment or discomfort about where you're at at this stage in your life. You are powerfully on your path and you are just beginning the best part of your life. And if I can help you support, if I can support you with that, by all means, you know, let me know. Yeah, I I know you can. And so do our listeners. Thank you, Susanna, for everything today. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you, Benny, for pushing all the right buttons. Thank you, Carter, (laughs) for making this look amazing on Facebook. Thank you all for tuning us in and turning us on. Remember, we've got another hour coming up on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Um, This is where you get to choose. Choose yourself. You've been listening to Love Light Sound Radio with Susanna Jameson on Transformation Talk Radio. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope you'll join us next month as Susanna explores how to align, balance, and consciously create your life. For more information on Susanna Jameson and her work, or to listen to past shows, visit her website at SusannaJameson.com. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.